Okay, so welcome to our latest video. So we're doing a playthrough where Blanca plays through Demon Souls. Um, I do have a controller that's purely so I can be in the party, but I've put it down. Hands free. Purely Blanca's gameplay. So I've talked her through the first few levels. And uh, just press X, Blanca. There we go. Uh, so I've talked you through the first um, two levels, World 1-1 one, one and World 1-2. She's beaten the two bosses. I've got the videos of her beating the boss. But we're going to do an, a full level of World 1-2. Um, Blanca, so say hi to the world. Hello. You'll be glad to know that no one's watching at the moment, so we don't need to worry too much. <laughs> um, oh, so what I'd recommend, um, now we're going into slightly harder levels where you're going to die. Um, if you press start, ever start. That's a good start. There we go. So if you press uh, the front right uh, R1 button, so you know that one. And again, and again. This is tendency. I haven't actually told you about this yet. It's quite important. So the reason I'm going to ask you to do what I'm going to ask you to do is if you die whilst in human form the game gets more difficult and it gets difficult um, there's seven ranges so from easy to difficult mode um, we obviously don't want difficult mode and the only way to make it easier after you've died is to beat a boss so if you beat a boss it goes one step towards easier mode if you die in human form it goes one step towards hard mode so what I'm going to ask you to do before we do anything is die in the Nexus because the Nexus isn't part of this. So if you die here and lose your human form, it won't make it more difficult if you die in the world because we're probably going to die in this next level. So come out of this. Easiest way to die in the Nexus is to first of all go and see the woman in black and spend your souls. There should be somewhere loitering around. Is that the one without the eyes? The one with no eyes and the candlestick, yeah. She's normally either there or if you turn around to the left, there she is. So we have a little nap with her. Is the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. So I think soul power. Um, as we're going, a magic-ish build. Um, go for intelligence, two levels. Oh god, sorry. Let's put use left and right to raise them. Uh, we're going to do vitality as well, so that's fine. Intelligence, two levels. And then magic. Do three levels in that. And do one more, do one more vitality. Vitality? Yeah. Or oh, do vitality. endurance actually. So take vitality back down and do endurance. So vitality is your health. So you can take more hits. Intelligence is how much MP and how many spells you have. See the bottom right, it says magic memory. So you've gone up to two now. So you'll be able to store two spells once you've learned some more. Um, endurance is how many times you can swing a sword or how many hits you can take. And magic obviously is your magic damage. And we'll get you a magic weapon soon. So go confirm on that. There we go. That's just telling you what I just told you about the magic memory. Going up. So come out of that. All the way out. We're pretty much done with that. And what we're going to do is go up the second staircase, so not that staircase, the other staircase. We're going to go all the way up. That one? Yep. This is the quickest and easiest way to kill yourself in Nexus. So just run up the stairs. You run up the next flight of stairs. I'm just going to throw myself into oblivion. You're literally going to throw yourself off the staircase. <laughs> right, turn left. Why? Just turn left. Now? Left, left, yeah. left, left, go left. 
Ja, aber left. Off oh, left. Is that what you want me to throw myself here? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was doing. See, off you go then. <laughs> actual representation of me at work. Ah. <laughs> So you will want to run back up there and go and get your souls so, because you had a few left. So back up you go. Again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. What, what, why up? Because you need to go and get the souls that you still have. I thought I had them downstairs because I died downstairs. No, when you die, you lose your souls and they stay where you died. Yeah. I die downstairs. Yeah, but it's where you were just before you died in oh, these okay. situations. Because if you fall into a bottomless pit, it doesn't leave your souls in a bottomless pit. It's quite kind like that. There you go, it's that blue glow. Press X on that. And then run nicely down back to the bottom. So, if you die and then you're in non-life form, how did you return to life form, to human form? Oh god, I <laughs> oh. It's when you kill a boss, it brings you back to human form. Ah, uh, okay. All the way down. Okay, so, press start. I want to have a quick look at your inventory just to see what you've done. So press R1 once. And then go down to the bottom of that. Okay, we've got a few of them we can use. That's good. So we're going to do that in a minute. Okay, the bottom one. So you press up. Oh, oh, no. Just go through again. Yeah, that's fine. So that one, send to storage. I don't remember how to send the storage. Press X on it. Ah, oh, okay. And then send to storage. And then use all the rest of them. All of it? Yeah. So I don't have to do anything? No, go down to the bottom. And then press X. And then use. Ah, oh, okay. What is that doing to me? Use them as well, it's giving you souls. Oh, should I use this one too? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that one. Okay, go across to your weapons. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. Send that to storage, these stones. Because use them from storage so you don't need to hold them. Okay, and next one to see weapons. Uh, you do have a bow, that's good, because the boss that we're going to fight, we're going to use a bow on. Um, go down to it and press square. The bow, compound short bow. Press square. So the requirements are 18 and 10, press triangle. And you have Ooh, nowhere near the strength. That's concerning. Hmm. Okay. okay, we can deal with that later. Okay, so go to the go to the woman in black, or maiden in black, whatever you want to call her. She has moved, which is interesting. There you died. She's probably at the top. She will be somewhere in this middle bit where she is to the left. Talk to her, and we're going to put the souls you just gained into strength. Okay, we only have one level there. Not great, but carry on. The last thing before we actually get to the level, uh, go to the blacksmith. Make sure we do equipment in good order. Uh, the other guy, but you can talk to him as well. There we go. He'll give you a, he'll give you a ring for that Jade ornament. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. 
May she rest in peace. May I ask a favor? Would you mind giving me that hair ornament? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. Do I say yes? Mm -hmm. You're a saint. I mean, how could you Thank say you. no? <laughs> Thank you so much. No, oh, please. I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I found it discarded on the main road. It might look ordinary, but that was my headset turning off and everything. Strange, but I remember to twiggle my control to stick every now and again. I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. Okay. Okay, so it's an actual blacksmith. Oh, okay. That's the guy with the beard. I can forge weapons for you. Yeah, yes, we know. So, upgrade weapon. Uh, okay. Just in case. Uh, scimitar. No. Come back out. Come back out. Repair equipment. Yeah, let's do it all. Might as well. Okay. No, I'm not great. You can't upgrade anything at the moment. Come back alive. I need your so where the sad guy is on the staircase, that guy, we're going to go past where the woman in black is up the stairs. We'll go to the second stone. Not here. That one. Yep, that one. There. And in you go. Off to the smithy grounds. It's a very different level to the previous one. When you go up the stairs, you're going to see a pink, shiny thing. That you need to it. Yeah, pretty much. I need to have my sword. And you might want your shield out as well. Okay, sorry. I haven't done this in a week, so I don't really remember. Upstairs? Yeah, to the left. There it is, lock on. Oh damn it, it's gone forever. I know it's not gone. Remember the lock on. It's gone. It's gone now, yeah. So keep going down that route. Right through them. And you've got an item just on the edge. Don't go past the item because you'll die. Okay, turn around. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, Where am I going? Pretty, um, back the way you came. To the left there's a bloke who's a trader. I don't think we want anything from him urgently now. We'll talk to him anyway, just wait to wait. <laughs> Hello there. Souls, souls. I trade fine goods for souls. Do you want me to put an item? Uh, you don't need anything from him. You want to play? You've got to be. Oh. Don't Pretty much you? before we get to the boss, we're going to do a big loop. We're going to unlock a blacksmith. Um, and then we can come back and reevaluate everything before we get to the boss. So that's the shortcut we're going to unlock, but it's locked at the moment. So Should that... I go down where? No, I not yet. Not... Uh, we're going to... That's where we're aiming to get moving. So we're going to go down that little passageway there and just be careful for the falling boulders because they hurt. Okay. And before you go, just check your rings actually. Make sure you've got the magic ring on. Yeah, so that's fine. You're going to use a lot of magic at this level, the enemies are all weak to magic. Remember, you hold circle to sprint. It's time you run past them. Okay. Straight into the door. Okay, so... Should we get them? Should we just do the level? There's nothing up there that you need. So turn, turn the handle on that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'll show you what we're doing. So you turn these handles, and that makes things in the world move. There's a quite tough enemy up the top of these stairs, but we don't need to kill him yet. He's not really hiding anything you need, so we're going to leave him alone. So no, we're not going up there. Not yet. We can come back later. So you'll want to swap to magic, so get your wand out. All these, uh, you see right in the distance, the guy swinging the axe. Mm -hmm. These enemies are very weak to magic. Okay. So you want to kill all of them with magic. Should take one spell being on this. So you lock on Why using the right stick. Yeah, use the right stick. So two of them, two spells to kill. I thought it would be, but. I think we need to up the magic a bit more. It's alright. Level complete. <laughs> so as you go into this next room, if you go too far into the room, some dogs are going to break through some boxes and attack you. Remember with dogs, we fire magic whilst moving backwards. Remember, you need to be locked in. They're very slow moving. They're not going to start running at you or anything. So you can take your time with them. Generate magic, so no need to worry. Yeah, but if I'm gonna get now attacked by dogs, I'll have to regenerate a little bit, no? Uh, you could use your sword on the dogs, there, so. so pretty much let the dog attack you with the shield up, it'll bounce off you, then hit it with the sword. Okay. Where are the dogs, though? They're gonna come through those barrels on the right hand side. Slowly moving, I need to rush. So on the right is where the mounds are, that's where the dogs are going to break through that. Eventually. I think they can't see you, so if you move to the right, then. Shall I keep that man first? What man? No, oh, yeah, you can kill him if you like. Okay, so you see how weak your sword is against them. Remember the lock on. Oh damn it. Okay, lock on to the dog. Shield up. Shield up, lock on, lock on. Nice, heal, 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 heal. There's a nasty enemy behind you. No, no, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I forgot how to heal. Uh, square. square. Square, oh God. Did I mess it up because I died? Um, as I said, we knew you were going to die in this one. It's a tough level. So, just back the way you came. Have another go in. Lock on. I've always lock on to everything. Stop, 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 stop. You're not going to 
off the edge, so you didn't I get any. It. Yeah, but you knocked it off the edge. So you don't get anything. Well, what do I do? So I don't get anything from kill the thing? It drops an item. Or oh, lots of it? items. But you knocked it off the edge, so the item's now off the edge. Oh, it's not there. Okay. So it works the same as every other enemy. If you kill it, it but it's guaranteed to drop an item. But if you knock it off the edge, your item is at the bottom of that cliff where you can't get to. Through the door. So you see now, if you look out that door, that's already moving. Oh. So when you change things in the level, they stay changed. Oh, okay. This is how shortcuts work in the game. This figure is a thing. They are just other players. The other good thing about playing um, in ghost form is you can't be invaded by other players, so it makes you pretty safe. Can you hear Lydia? Hmm? Lydia? Yeah, I can hear. Okay, so the dogs will be more aggressive now because the urns are broken. Oh god. So they're gonna come out earlier. No! Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, just one spell kills them. So. Oh. Turn around, just face the enemies. If you play an enemy, you'll be killed, it can't be hurt. Do I do dogs or do I do man? I would personally focus on the dogs. Here they come. Why is that? Move backwards and get them into the alleyway. Oh, I hate when this happens. Oh, you want to heal? Square. Yeah. We need to do that a few times today. I do. Is there any more dogs? No, you're done with dogs. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. It's a fat man. Yeah, the fat man are not very pleasant. So you're going to want to recover some magic. So have a little explore around this area. Get your souls back. They are really not a friendly. It's going to take a lot of hits. You're going to use magic on him. You okay, can't yeah. get up there just yet. You'll get that from a different angle. Remember, if you run in front of that gate where he is, he'll start firing magic at you. Oh, oh there's another one as well. <laughs> so that one's at the top of a level. I suppose. 
There's another fat man up there, that's why I didn't send you up there. But he's quite hard to fight. The one you're about to fight is fairly easy. Um, go through your items. I just want to check something. Uh, okay, so go back to your equipment. L1. 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 <laughs> go down to items at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And go across to a blank one. So they keep the healing items there. Uh, select it. Go to Age Spice. What is that? Mm -hmm. What is that? It gives you magic. It gets your bl blue bar fill again. So come out. Come out. So for the purpose of the stream, press down twice. Then press square. Ah. There we go. Alright, so come away from that because we don't want to use the other one until we have to. Okay, so run forward, so now you can fight the Mafat kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand to the left of the wall and the archway. I hear. Yep. Uh, a little closer, like right up against the archway. Uh, yeah, perfect. So change the camera angle so you can see the fat man. Change oh. the camera angle, not your position. There we go, perfect. Use lock on. Okay, move backwards a bit. We're going to go across to the left whilst firing magic. Uh, right, sorry. So we fire our magic through the doorway. He's going to return fire and we're going to move back to the left. So we're gonna go. Oh, oh. Move forward, move forward, 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 I'm forward. forward. Just keep going forward, please. Please go forward. Thank you. There. Stay there. Okay. So, right, magic, left. So you want to be casting your magic as you're moving to the right. Because remember, it takes about like, a second to cast a spell. Okay. I think move back. Let's keep doing that. Oh, oh damn it. Cool, heal. You'll do that, but not very nice. Go through. Straight ahead. Collect all the stuff in there. That's a good healing item. Collect it. Yeah. Okay, the chunks are for further upgrades, so that's good. We've got some of them. Okay, come back out of that room, into the room where he was, and look to the left. You see that guy stood there. He's going to swing his axe at you when you go through there, so you want to have your shield up. Can I kill him from here? Uh, not easily. It's, it's fine, he'll hit the shield and it'll... Oh, oh, oh he, God. you didn't face him. <laughs> and again, yeah. Okay, heal up. There's like three of these guys that are going to do that to you through this section. So what you want to do is stick your nose out the door and just keep facing forward. Go up. So every time you hit a corner, there you go. Remember, magic, you want to be distance. Don't want to be that close to people when you use the magic. Otherwise you're going to get hurt. Hit again. This bit's quite tough. So there's a corridor to the right, and everyone's going to come out. There he is. Lock on. You won't be able to hit him with your magic. He'll hit the wall. Ooh. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I don't think there's anything of that, this side of that room, so... So, like... So, I keep going around. There you go, so you got some of your healing on this way. Turn right. In the archway? Mm -hmm. There's an item down there. It's a pickaxe, I believe. So you can use that weapon that he's using on you. And then keep following it round. Go up. Right, we're about to see another fatty. So we're going to go up the stairs, turn left at the top of the stairs, and then follow it round, and hide behind a pillar. Go, 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 quickly. Don't hesitate, don't hesitate. Up the stairs. Okay, keep going, just Boy. keep going. Down? Yeah, just turn around, turn around, turn around, I forgot something. Turn around, turn around, turn around! Oh, oh my oh. god! Okay, oh. that's actually where you wanted to go, so you got away with that. Um, why yeah. are you running blindly? Don't run blindly. Where, where do I go? Stop. You stood on an enemy. <laughs> Please stop just running blindly. Please stop just running blindly. <sighs> turn around and look at the fat guy. Don't move, just turn around. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he's firing into that, so we want to move slightly closer to where that is. Where is he firing? So, up the top of the screen. Yeah. You can see, he can't see you now. So we're safe. Just. So, ignore him for now. Mm -hmm. We want to be killing these enemies down the bottom again. So, kill them. You can move round to where they are. Just one behind, move forward. Move forward. You want to keep distance here. There we go. Annoying, there's two hits. Okay, so just see if anyone drops any items. Yep, there you go. So we are going to go. See the guy with the pickaxe just there? Yeah. We'll kill him. Being careful not to get hit by the flames, so just keep moving. I don't know that fast. <laughs> Faster, okay. yeah, right. So, look to the left. Look to the left. We're going to go across that bridge. Okay. And then to where that item is. Okay, and kill those things. And kill those things. Oh shit, okay. You can fire whilst moving. an item. Oh my god. What? So just just oh. wait. I need to remember to see. There's an item to the right of you. Okay, move back. Okay, so we are going to run under that bridge that you stood on. So like kill that thing? Though? No. Go all the way to where you're underneath where he is, and then we're going to turn around. Oh god, oh. sorry. That's one way of doing it. You're making it harder for yourself. Run to where he is, underneath him. Oh, geez. Keep running. Heal. Turn around. Shoot. He can't hit you because you're underneath him, so you're safe. Go and get that item. Here she comes. Hello. You gonna come and sit with Daddy? No. No. You're not happy. 
I say there's a lever there in front of you. Pull that lever. Come on. That must. Uh, you watch the cutscene while I. Lydia, you know. It's not time for that yet. No. Oh god, screaming baby. Oh god. <laughs> Do something about that. Have you watched Coco Melon, did you? No clothes. I like no. Not clothes. It's quieter. Okay. Right, so you see that bloke? Which one? With the eyes. Yeah. Laughing. Did you see the cut things? Yeah, they opened. You opened the gate, yeah. Okay, so I think there's two more down there. So if you move close to the edge, you'll probably be able to see them. Can't not see them. To the left. Try and lock on. Look around where the bridge was. Are they moving back to you? No? Okay, go down. Oh, there oh. he is. <laughs> They're hiding. Oh, there's okay, so go get the item off him. And then the item, that's the item that you couldn't get earlier. Okay, so go down. Okay, follow the route down again, oh, quickly. <laughs> do not stand still. Run, just run, so you can heal. Most important thing is healing. Stop, 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 you're fine now. That was a sad baby. Might not be able to do the ball. No. So we'll do the loop. So go to where you were previously, where you were at that big bridge before you fell down. So up the hills there, some round the corridors. Did I sit with Daddy? No. Okay. Turn right. No. Oh, okay. I'll just follow the corridor around. There's no enemies now. You killed them all. Sakito. Okay, don't stand there, he'll kill you. He will kill you. Oh god. Remember, you run around to the left. To the, to the left. left. Yep, keep going around, keep going around. Up, 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 up the other stairs. And then keep going, follow the left wall. No, no, stop. Down those stairs. Ignore that. No, not those stairs. The other stairs. <laughs> oh, okay. Down that corridor. And that's where you open the gate. Sprint, whole circle. Here? Yeah. Go through the fog wall. For the, for the, for the fog? Mm hmm. What about the fat guy? We're going to ignore the fat guy. He can just live there by himself. Okay. So if you look to your right, we've got another enemy. It's on the wall. Can't see it. It's a big flaming lizard. Oh. <laughs> so luck on killing with magic. Do not want to get close to him. If you touch them, they start hurting you with flying. Up the stairs. A ramp. Might as well kill him. Lock on. That's the end where we're trying to get to. So, 
go through there. Up that ramp. We're nearly at a decent point where we can stop for a day, so get that item. Turn around. Keep going. There's nothing really going to hurt you right now. So. Alright, what we're going to do in that room there, on the right. Mm -hmm. There's lots of lizards on the walls. We're going to shoot them down from the walls. They're going to come crawling around and we're going to kill them when they come out. For the walls. So, turn, no, turn right. See him? Oh, guy. Okay. So, go to the doorway. That's where the cart is. I hear. Yeah, and then it moves in front of a cart so you can see the enemies. Don't worry, they're not particularly fast, so. And lock on. Shoot. Stop, stop, stop. Need to wait for it to come around. For them to come around. Move on, no, you lock on to the next one. So change your lock with the right stick moving. Oh, he's coming now. Let's wait for him to come around. Be patient. Shoot. Boom. Right, next one. Let's forward him in total. While he's messing around the floor, you can knock the other one down. No, because it's too far away. Move closer. Yeah, that's him. One above him. The one, you can move all the way up to the gate now. The ones in there can't hurt you. Lock on. Come on, Salamander, hurry up. Yeah, just be patient. Okay, so go round to the left. That's all the ones you have to kill. Pick up the item. Move round. Another item. And then come back the way you came. Oh. Before he gets you. Oh. That was the scariest race in the world. <laughs> Um, he's going to follow you, so you probably want to kill him. That's the last thing you want is him coming up behind you while you try to kill him. There we go. Okay, so some of these guys, but these guys have got sticks. Do not let them get close to you or you'll regret it. So just lock on from a distance. I mean, it only takes two spells to kill him, so you don't need to worry too much. We're happy to do that. Lost your luck. Remember you can move whilst you're casting your magic, so you can move backwards. So you can get a bit closer. There you go, lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on. One more. Two more. Stop, yeah, get him first. Gonna lose your lock. There we go, so we're gonna ignore the fog door. Because we're gonna go, go and get Lydia's dinner very soon. What do I do now? Go, go up the stairs. Let's keep going forward. There uh, are a lot of the enemies against the walls. So you just want to take them all out with magic. Zap a zap. I think there's two more. Yes, intention. Mm. That might be all of them. You can move forward. 
I think it's safe. Hey, so pick up all these items. Yes, a lot of items. And then you get treated to a nice view. Do not run off the edge in excitement. There's an item there, can I get it? Yep. I you tend to that. move the camera down. There you go, so then you can see the distance. You move it further down, all the way. You can really, like, judge where you are against the cliff. There's another item over there. Do you recognise that building over there? That's where we got in first. Yeah. So, turn back round. And then run down that wood. Here? Yeah. Down? Yep. Down? Mm -hmm. Ah, oh. Again, use your camera to look at your angles. Turn the handle. And you're going to walk onto a platform when it appears. Oh. Yep. Oh, when it comes. Yeah. Like Just, oh my oh. god. <laughs> okay, walk off at the bottom. Keep going forward. And pick up the item. Turn around. Back in. There's a bloke on your right. Chat to him. Oh, I was going to kill him. But please don't kill him. He's the most useful person in the entire game. This is proper blacksmith. Don't run away from him. He gets upset very easily. You need a blacksmith. Show me your steel. So he can do all the upgrades to all the weapons, including boss weapons. So if you go to upgrade weapon, click on your scimitar. Uh, yeah. Does he have enough now? Click on the, yeah, the plus three, it. yeah. And if you click again, you see he gives you options. You don't want any of them. So we're going to ignore that for now. And check the compound short bow. Is that hard for Yeah, okay, so upgrade that. Just keep going. All the way. Oh, I don't understand. Just keep upgrading. Oh, okay. As much as you can. Um, the more you upgrade it, the quicker the boss will die to it at the end. Uh, just keep going normal. Okay, you see, you're done with that. Come back out. Come back out, go up the lift. I want your shield back. Up this lift. Yep. So you want to walk on that. And then turn around. And then run off okay and come back out of the door and you're back to the merchants so that's that lift that you saw at the beginning of the game okay. and so now you don't have to go back through that way ever again okay so it's a good place to leave the stream because we can just start the second half of the level from here okay. oh, yeah. so uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, sadly due to baby requirements we haven't managed to get the whole level done but we're halfway there, done fairly well I think, I think Blanca did okay there, so let us know in the comments if you did enjoy watching the wife play, uh, have a great evening.